Emotional appeal, utilizing emotions such as fear, anger, or compassion to influence public opinion. For instance, showcasing heartbreaking stories of families affected by policy changes to evoke empathy and garner support for immigration reform. Fear-mongering, exaggerating threats or dangers to manipulate public perception and justify political actions or policies. This could involve sensationalizing crime rates among immigrant communities to rally support for stricter immigration laws. Scapegoating, blaming a particular group or individual for societal problems or failures to divert attention away from underlying issues. An example would be attributing economic struggles to immigrants, name-calling, discrediting opponents by using derogatory labels or insults. Politicians may resort to calling their opponents unpatriotic or radical to undermine their credibility and appeal to negative stereotypes. Glittering generalities, using vague, positive language or slogans to create a favorable impression without providing concrete details. Campaign slogans like Make America Great Again appeal to broad sentiments without specifying how this will be achieved. Bandwagon effect, creating the perception of widespread support for a particular idea or candidate to pressure others to conform. Emphasizing polling data or endorsements can give the impression of momentum and persuade undecided voters to follow suit. Testimonials, using endorsements or testimonials from trusted individuals to lend credibility to a political message or candidate. Featuring endorsements from respected figures or community leaders can sway public opinion and build trust in a candidate. Card stacking, selectively presenting information or evidence to support a particular viewpoint while ignoring or downplaying contradictory evidence. This involves cherry-picking facts or statistics to create a biased narrative that favors one side of an argument, plain folks appeal. Presenting oneself or one's policies as being in line with the values and interests of ordinary citizens to gain their trust and support. Politicians may emphasize their humble origins or down-to-earth qualities to appeal to working-class voters. Transfer, associating a political candidate or idea with positive symbols, images, or emotions to transfer the positive feelings to the candidate or idea. This could involve using patriotic imagery to evoke feelings of loyalty and pride in association with a candidate. Repetition. Repeating a message or slogan frequently to reinforce its importance and increase its memorability. Political campaigns often repeat slogans or catchphrases to ensure that their message sticks with voters and becomes ingrained in their minds. Disinformation, spreading false or misleading information to confuse, mislead, or manipulate public opinion. This could involve sharing fake news stories or conspiracy theories to discredit political opponents or advance a particular agenda. Ad hominem attacks, attacking an opponent's character or personal attributes instead of engaging with their arguments or ideas. This tactic aims to discredit opponents by focusing on their perceived flaws or weaknesses rather than the substance of their arguments. Appeal to authority, citing endorsements, or references to authority figures to lend credibility to a political message or position. Politicians may refer to the opinions of experts or respected individuals to bolster their arguments and persuade others to accept their viewpoint. False dilemma, presenting a complex issue as having only two possible solutions, when in reality there are more options to consider. This tactic restricts debate and oversimplifies nuanced issues by framing them as binary choices. Gaslighting, manipulating someone's perception of reality, or denying their experiences to undermine their confidence and control them. This involves distorting facts, rewriting history, or questioning someone's sanity to undermine their credibility and manipulate their behavior or beliefs. Cherry picking, selectively presenting data or examples to support a particular argument while ignoring or downplaying evidence that contradicts it. Politicians may highlight favorable statistics or success stories while disregarding information that undermines their narrative. Red herring, introducing irrelevant or misleading information to divert attention from the main issue. For example, during a political debate, a candidate may bring up a scandal involving their opponent to distract from discussing policy issues. Dog whistle politics, employing coded language or symbols to communicate with a specific subgroup of voters while maintaining plausible deniability. This could involve using terms like law and order to appeal to racial biases without explicitly mentioning race. False equivalence, Presenting two opposing viewpoints as equally valid, even when one side lacks evidence or credibility. An example would be equating climate change denial with scientific consensus on climate science. Manufactured controversy, creating or exaggerating conflicts to generate media attention and distract from more substantive issues. This could involve intentionally stirring up controversy over a non-issue to dominate news cycles and control the narrative. 
Issue dilution, dividing attention and resources across numerous smaller issues to divert focus from a single significant problem. For instance, a government facing criticism for economic mismanagement might introduce multiple controversial social policies to distract public attention. Virtue signaling, publicly expressing support for a popular cause or moral value without meaningful action or sacrifice. This could involve politicians posting on social media about environmental conservation while continuing to support environmentally damaging policies. Perception management, manipulating public perception through strategic messaging, image control, and narrative shaping. For example, a government might downplay reports of civil unrest by framing protests as isolated incidents or exaggerating the threat posed by demonstrators. Discrediting experts, undermining the credibility of qualified experts or professionals who challenge the government's narrative or policies. This could involve labeling scientists who warn about climate change as alarmists or part of the establishment. Manufactured heroism, creating or exaggerating heroic narratives around political leaders or government actions to boost morale and foster national unity. This could involve staging elaborate ceremonies or commemorations to celebrate military victories or disaster relief efforts. Illusory choice, presenting superficially different options to give the illusion of choice while maintaining control over the outcome. This could involve holding sham elections with predetermined winners or offering multiple versions of a policy that all lead to the same result. Salami tactics, implementing controversial policies or reforms gradually and incrementally to avoid triggering significant opposition. This could involve introducing small changes over time to desensitize the public and undermine resistance. Manufactured spectacle, orchestrating grandiose events or ceremonies to distract from underlying issues or crises. This could involve staging elaborate parades, rallies, or public celebrations to create a sense of national pride and unity. Echo chamber amplification, exploiting social media algorithms and online echo chambers to amplify and reinforce partisan narratives. This could involve coordinating online campaigns to spread misinformation, discredit opponents, or mobilize supporters. Subliminal messaging, embedding hidden or subtle cues in political advertisements, speeches, or imagery to influence behavior or perceptions. This could involve using specific colors, symbols, or sounds to evoke emotional responses or associations without conscious awareness. Selective accountability, holding opponents or critics to higher standards of accountability while excusing or minimizing the wrongdoing of allies or supporters. This could involve aggressively pursuing investigations or legal action against political adversaries while ignoring similar offenses committed by allies. Manufactured outrage, fabricating or exaggerating controversies to mobilize supporters, distract from scandals or discredit opponents. This could involve misrepresenting statements or actions to inflame public sentiment and provoke backlash. Threat inflation, exaggerating the severity or imminence of external threats to justify aggressive foreign policies, increase military spending or domestic surveillance measures. This could involve manipulating intelligence reports or using inflammatory rhetoric to drum up support for military intervention. Strategic ambiguity, deliberately using vague or ambiguous language to avoid commitment or accountability. This could involve politicians making ambiguous statements that can be interpreted differently by different audiences, allowing them to avoid taking a clear stance on contentious issues.